hello guys uh, welcome back to my youtube channel on this video i'm going to show you the process of boat repair and maintenance so this boat was brought to kisumu shipyards limited uh, in kisumu for repair and maintenance and it's going to be repaired and maintained to the point whereby it will look new brand new when it's complete now this is a small part of a big industry that is booming right now in kisumu city whereby after the construction of the kisumu shipyards limited uh, more and more ships and boats have been brought in for repair and maintenance and servicing and this also includes the construction of a bigger ship which is mv uhuru 1 and mv uhuru 2 now i've done a, a documentary about mv uhuru 2 which I'll be putting here, uh, the link down below in the description, so that you guys can go watch that. It in that documentary involves the construction of Kisumu Port, the construction of Kisumu Shipyards Limited, one in Kisumu and one in Mombasa, and also the construction of MV Uhuru 2, which is almost 80% complete and cost two over two billion Kenyan shillings to construct. And remember that MV Uhuru 2 is the first ship to be constructed from scratch, you know, in Kenya after a very long time and it all it only works to make kisumu city one of the best cities in kenya because so far this industry of ship repair and maintenance and manufacturing has actually uh, resulted in the employment of over 1000 people in kisumu city and this will help to grow the economy of kisumu city and make kisumu one of the fastest growing economies in africa so guys remember these shipyards limited in kisumu it's not just serving Kenya, but it's meant to serve actually Uganda and Tanzania as well. Kenya yeah, Shipyards Limited is supposed to catalyze shipbuilding, both in the country as well as in the Eastern African region. And we are looking at the Eastern African region because we are a community that are connected together in terms of requirements, especially in terms of security requirements. In future, we want to bring in partners that will look at the various aspects of shipbuilding, from funding, technical support, the actual shipbuilding, the construction itself. We are going to see ourselves bring in more partners, especially the local institutions in terms of uh, capacity building and also international and uh, regional partners. We want to start attracting the various industries that um, will contribute to the various packages that are required by KSL. We've already started engaging with DEFKI in terms of steel because shipbuilding is steel. And the reason why we're engaging with them is that the qualities that are required, especially for marine gate steel, is slightly different from what is required for construction. We have discussions with the numerical machining complex in terms of just production of the various components and parts. We're also engaging with the other stakeholders in the blue economy so that we look at the blue economy holistically in terms of legal requirements, in terms of incentives that spur the blue economy, in terms of tools and equipment that uh, require blue economy, and synergy in terms of the various stakeholders. It's also meant to encourage and promote transport along Lake Victoria, which will also help increase the ease of doing business among these three East African countries. And for those of us who come from Kisumu and for those of us who reside along Lake Victoria, we know how much this can help uh, awaken the economies of the lakeside cities and towns, which had actually fallen as a result of the fall of transportation along Lake Victoria and this is a good thing for the people of Kisumu City and the people of Kenya as a whole. Now this boat right here is going to be repaired, maintained, serviced and after everything is done the boat will look brand new which is the point of this and this is a good thing for our country. Otherwise guys I really hope you enjoy this video. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I like this type of development content and this video is courtesy of Kenya Shipyards Limited. Otherwise, thank you and enjoy. Kuna machines ya nyesi kwa nimejua kutumia. Nimezipata hapa na nikafunzi wa kutai na jua kuzitumia. Kuna kama iyo salari ya nyepia na pata. At least yuna nisaidia. Kuna watoto na walipia school fees. Na pia na nasaidia watoto yetu ingini. Mimi ni ufanyikazi hapa katika kampuni ya KSL na mnafunga chuma na nashukuru kujiunga katika mradi huu wa KSL Kenya Shipya Kisumu umenifaidisha na nimeweza kusaidia wazazi nyumbani na mambo mengine madogo hapa na pale kijijini kimaisha
This progression and success has been brought about by identification of key strategic pillars that have steered KSL service delivery. Among them are quality service, customer focus, cost effectiveness, research and development. Kenya Shipyards Limited has dedicated staff who continually visit the customers, listen to their requirements and provide for procurements that align to their requirements. So customer focus is number one.